So sumigayashi. Sumigayashi is, is kind of a counter throw. You can, if you play it a lot, you can get into it. But a lot of times what happens is when I get up here and I get a really dominant grip and I start pulling somebody down, sometimes they'll, they'll block here. Or if I grip counter, they, they're trying to reach up and I can catch this hand before it gets here. I'll immediately take this hand and put it on my left hip right here. So as soon as that happens, you, yeah, the guys who like to play arm drag, they're already here. As a judo player, I like to go all the way around and grab the belt, or if I can get to the far lap, that's ideal. But if I can get this belt, that's really where I'm going. So a lot of times we're in here fighting and they're reaching with this, and I counter grip it, immediately snatch, and if you notice, I close him to me, I close me to him, and I'm in tight now. So I'm grabbing this belt and I'm keeping him tight. So ideally what I want him to do here is to sink his hips out for me, to try to sprawl. That makes this a lot easier. So don't move. So from here, what I want to do is I'm going to take my left foot and I'm going to step right in between his feet. The deeper the better because my bottom is going to end up being right underneath his center, right underneath his hips. So I'm going to come right between his feet. My right shin is going to come across and I'm going to hook behind the hamstring and my shin is going to go right in the crease of his hip, right here. So when I step in, I'm here and his arms across just like this. And as you can see, it creates this big opening. For the jiu-jitsu guys, you know this is, a, this is a common sweep you do. So I can snap, I'm over here, he sinks his hips out, and I step in. And as, as my right foot comes in, my bottom's coming with him. And I'm going to use him to make me a pendulum to kind of swing underneath. Even if he gets a grip, he gets a sleeve grip. Sleeve grips are really easy to break, guys. So one of the ways I like to play this is I'm going to take my hand and pull it straight up in the air. When I do that, it changes the angle of his grip. So I can grab, my elbow's up, and I'm straight across. So this is how I beat that grip a lot of times. I'll feed that, he'll get that sleeve grip, and I can snatch it across right here. So again, left foot's going to step in between his feet. Right shin comes up into the crease of his hip. Left foot in, right foot up. And here I just want to keep him attached to me. I don't want to drop down and leave, leave a gap between our bodies. So we have to stay attached to this arm just like an arm drag or anything else. We get to here, left foot comes in, foot's up, I sit down. And again, don't let go of your partner. From this other side, if you want to work the grip break, a lot of times guys don't want you to have this, they'll fight you on this other grip just because they don't want to give up two grips. So again, if I can't get this one, I may cheat, pull it over here. A lot of guys think you're going to go rush in here. They'll start trying to tuck their elbow. That's fine, they're just pulling you right into them. So I'm going to go with that. So when he pulls, I step. He pulls, I step, and I'm up.